Good morning, this is Rick Gray. just want to share some ideas today on philosophy, something that's a subject that's dear to my heart. I talk about philosophy a lot. One of the things that I'd like to get from people's minds is how you think is going to determine your success in life. How you think between your ears, right, in your mind is going to be a big part of your success. There's a lot of different philosophies out there on success, on ourselves, what we think about the world, what we think about other people, what we think about the economy, what we think about our chances. So there's a lot of philosophies out there, like the wait and see. You know, the person is just going to kind of sit in the background, not do a lot, wait and see what happens. And you know, there's a philosophy that I'm a victim. Everything always happens against me, right? Everything out there is against what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm just a victim in this life. There's other people that have the philosophy of they're going to go for it. They're going to take charge and make things happen. What is your philosophy? What is your default setting when it comes to success, when it comes to the world? Are you actively going out there trying to make things happen? Or are you just a wait and see kind of a person? Or are you a victim and you want to complain and justify? Your philosophy is going to determine your reality. Reality is only what we perceive to be true. So what is yours? I'll give you another good philosophy, and that's called the ant philosophy, something Jim Rohn used to talk about, which I think is a great little concept and metaphor for you. Ants, there's a four-part philosophy to how ants think. Number one, ants never quit. Right? What a great philosophy for life, to never quit. Whatever it is you're trying to do, nothing's going to stop you. Think about an ant. If they're walking in a trail somewhere and you stop them, what are they going to do? They're going to look for another way to get there. If you put a rock in front of them, they're going to climb over the rock or go around the rock or try and find a way under the rock. They're not going to stop just because there's an obstacle in the way. Ants never quit. That's a great philosophy. And think about that for yourself and what you're trying to do. The second part is ants think summer in the winter. In other words, when things aren't going very well, they think positive. <laughs> We're not going to be in here for very long, right? Ants think summer in the winter. When there's no food, they think, hey, we'll soon be out of here. This is not going to be a problem. Ants also think winter in the summer. So when things are going good, they're out there gathering food in preparation for the inevitable winter that's coming. They know winter's coming. Just because the skies are blue and the clouds are fleecy and things are going well right now, don't let that fool you into thinking that's how it will always be. I think a lot of people back in 2006 fell into that trap, thinking it was summer and it's always going to be summer. No. Guess what follows summer with regularity? Winter, right? Prepare for that. So ants think winter in the summer. They gather food. They gather supplies. They're in preparation even when things are easy and things are going well. They're preparing. And the fourth part of the ant philosophy is ants go for the all philosophy. How much food will an ant gather in the summer to prepare for the winter? The answer is all that they can. Isn't that neat? They don't gather just a little bit. They do all they can. Most life forms are forced to go for the all philosophy. You never heard of a tree growing half as tall as it could, right? Trees grow as high as they possibly can. They stretch out their branches as high as they can, sink their roots as deep as they possibly can. Every other life form has to go for the all philosophy. Well, as human beings, we've been given the choice, the dignity of choice. We can either go for the all philosophy, or we can just kind of sit back and observe, play it safe, and only do the part philosophy. Which one do you think is going to get you to success? Which one do you think is going to have a greater impact on your life? I'm telling you to go for the all philosophy. As Steve Prefontaine said, to do less than your best is to sacrifice the gift. You've been given the gift of choice. You can either go for it or sit down and do nothing. It's up to you. You can still survive. You can still get by and still make it through this world. But it's not compelling. What's compelling is to do something significant. So go for it. And remember the ants. Never quit. Think summer in the winter, think winter in the summer, and go for the all philosophy. Have a great day.